Is it is the mimolets like is it the one with maggots in it or it's a mite ridden cheese? Actually, it does have it. It it, it has cheese mites living yeah, on the yeah. sur- that, surface of the cheese. Yeah, the yeah there's a lot of like inside, regional yeah. cheeses that are like, oh, this cheese is rotten to the point beyond rotten. Yeah. But those are like but they're like really strongly like regulated. Like it has to oh be like this yeah. level of safety. Sarah, That's you so ate it you, you just ate a bird king. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're worried about cheese mites? Were any of your things impossible? Yeah. No, 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 no. I don't like the impossible. I mean, it's fine, but like. I remember trying it thing. once and being like, this seems perfectly passable. If I was forced to eat it, I would. But then. Didn't we try I don't, it with you? I think so. I, you were I there, it, right? I've had a taste test, like a blind taste test, mm. where we bought a regular one, uh, actually with a co worker of Marvin's and I, an old co worker. Mm-hmm. Um, we tried, uh, we bought two whoppers, we cut them in fours, and then one of, like, another co-worker knew which ones were which, and then we tried both, mm. and I couldn't tell. I, in fact, I picked, the, the the most flavorful was the the impossible one. because I don't that, believe that for a minute. There's something, like, I there's something in the meat, there's something in the meat that it, it absorbs, like, the pickles and everything else into it. So, like, but you can, ta- you really can tell the difference. Not if you're I think, high. I think to me, is. it's the texture. The texture <laughs> is way more, like, I like, can tell the difference. Crumbly. Yeah. On a on an impossible whopper. And yeah, I the can texture feel, isn't quite as hearty. Yeah, yeah. You can feel like individual Sarah, little Sarah grainy. is a sommelier of fucking bird. Yeah. <laughs> those little, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sponsor a little me. evidence of a life. This is a, this is yeah. a 1967 whopper impossible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> whopper. She, she can smell a whopper and she can be like, whopper. she's like, oh, this is this it's is from the northern region. Right it's from the northern region. <laughs> Probably San Jose, uh, Burger King. <laughs> The uh, king himself see. flame yeah. broiled yeah. this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is when they had the, the, the grill tops and not the little robot that passes the grills over the machine. Oh, yeah, you do yeah. robots you, you now? Could, you, oh. Well, well, it's like a machine that you put the grill. It, it's a grill. It just puts the marks, It's right? a conveyor. Like it's not it, actually. No, 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 it's a real grill. <laughs> okay. uh, Burger, King? Burger King actually is open flame. But, but really? it's a, mach- it's a machine oh, that it. it's a conveyor belt. Oh, it's like a salamander, oh. like a conveyor salamander. I see. Yeah, and it, and it okay. grills it as it goes. And then it, it yeah, it's like the ones. We, I guess like the ones that were at, food, at Food Works, Dan. Like college. many, many modern pizza places utilize ovens like that. Yeah. Out, yeah, yeah. Do you think Wendy's is actually not frozen? Yeah, they are. I, I think yeah. I think Wendy I believe it. is a yeah. piece of and, shit. And too. actually, <laughs> they I actually like talked about how yeah. um, during the COVID, it caused a massive issue for them because it was very hard to get like correct supplies of unfrozen how do they manage yeah, honestly to keep their i'm surprised unfrozen. that they were able to keep it you know well they they whereas like one. whereas like um other fast food places they keep frozen patties and stuff for like three months at a time uh yeah. wendy's receives shipments like twice a week and oh. they just keep rotating it, it's actually like, like oddly enough it makes me sick like, Here's the thing. Enough. Oddly enough, they make square patties, which is a stupid thing. <laughs> Send them back, dude. <laughs> y'all are nuts. Y'all hate y'all hate every fast food. I just like I them love, all. I love <laughs> I know, like dude. everything is fine. And and everything is literally fine. When I was you know little, it's been around yeah. forever. You know what's good at Wendy's? The spicy chicken sandwich. That's yeah. good. Yes, that's it good. is. And for a while, they were doing a two for six. You could get a Dave single and a spicy chicken sandwich. You, you don't want a Dave single, dude. I want that, that baconator. The, the patties. <laughs> Gross, dude. It's oh, fine. They're so sloppy; oh, they're barely no. square by the time you get them. <laughs> <laughs> you know Baconators what? make me sick. I love. It's just the name. Feel. <laughs> I feel it's just the name. You, like you, you as you bite into it, you feel like you're getting baconated. <laughs> and oh. it, it makes her. <laughs> it, it, it makes her feel ill because, because, because it, oh, it makes her feel ill because she's a she's a Burger King sommelier. I you only eat Burger King. That's so you true. only it's you possible. only like yum brand yeah. fast food, it's po- I guess. It's possible <laughs> yeah. that like a thousand years from now, burger or fast food burgers become as culturally like significant as like wine. <laughs> Dan Dan <laughs> Dan is a it. is a Del Taco sommelier. Uh, it sounds real racist, but <laughs> and then <laughs> Marvin Marvin is a keyboard sommelier. Oh my gosh! Yes. I'm a taco sommelier. <laughs> oh, this is the <laughs> finest key switch. It yeah. is a it is a Zilio Xylent version two. Oh, 65 kilograms of weight. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, Do you have good? a tactile bump? <laughs> <laughs> but it is quiet. <laughs> I like your uh, accent, Dan. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> you know what, guys? What? what? We should get sponsored by Pepto Bismol. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. I'd be fine. You know. That. 
Um, I would I take Pepto Marvin. From time to time. Yeah, Marvin yeah, should I, do Lactaid. Lactaid oh, yes. as a sponsor. Lactaid. It's funny because uh, ever since I discovered I'm lactose intolerant, I will have the lactates. But Sarah's also been buying me like lactose free milk. I'm like, oh, you don't have to. It's okay. But she still gets like the lactose free milk. And I'm like, yeah, oh, well, it's more like self-preservation. It tastes all right these days. No. Like back when I was a kid, lactose free milk tasted like shit. But these days, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's okay really? now. Yeah, it's okay. It's more like, yeah, like I was saying, self-preservation. I don't want a bad <laughs> night. I, 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 you know what? Um, I've got, I've, I've, I've done it. I'm, I'm an almond milk person. I like those yes, almonds. You're, an, you're an almond mom. But the almond the, milk, the nuts. I, I just. I'm don't. an almond. I'm an almond. Everything person. tastes like almonds. No, it like, doesn't. It does. Like, so I remember, I, don't drink the milk by itself, dude. Add something to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Cereal. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. So, he like, only adds I almonds. Would, I would okay. like. <laughs> I, I like, switched away I from almond, almond milk almonds. to regular milk for making coffee for like and you want a month to use soy milk, right? No, I don't like the taste of soy milk at all. Soy but then, but then, like I tried that, and then I made Sarah some coffee, and I tried some of her almond milk coffee because she refuses to get regular milk. And I was like, oh my god, this tastes so almondy. That's no, interesting. How I didn't realize okay. how so almondy good. this tasted. I drink all. Yeah, all I do is almond milk. Also, it doesn't. I'm one like, of them oat milk guys. Yeah, oh. not, you're an oat like milk oat, guy. I don't like oat milk. Either. Yeah, man. Yeah, oh, so uh, Dan's an oat milk guy. I didn't. I know mean, that. like, I I don't mind almond. I mean, milk. in my I like coffee, it's not like I buy it to replace my milk. Here's the thing about oat milk: I don't like it. <laughs> That's it. I don't like the little Fair particulate point? matter at the bottom of oat milk like containers and stuff. You mean like the oats? Little, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I want what you know all these oats is? in your oat milk. No, I don't. No, I want it clean. <laughs> oh my god. No, you need you need it pulpy. Lots also, of o- oat like you pulp. can't have like cereal with almond or oat milk. It doesn't oh, look yes right. Yes, you can. No, you, like, you, almond you milk can. Almond You're eating looks, oats and oats. Almond milk looks honey gray. bunches oat of milk oats and oat milk. Gray. It just it looks does like not gray look milk. Gray. No, it, it doesn't. looks gray. It's That's fine. You know what's you know what's actually psychopathic? Eating it with water. I know people no, who did that. That's, that's, I know people that's who did just, that. Really? Yes. Like water? No. Just that's they disturbing. would they would literally pull pour yeah. water into their bowl. Oh no. I would rather water than um than milk, I'll tell you that. What? Like regular oh, milk. Hey, I'll, I'll draw I'll I'll draw some yeah. more heat right now. I also put the milk in the bowl first. Oh what? What? Damn. How do you know how much milk you're supposed to add? What do you mean? You just put a, a, an amount that you want <laughs> and eat the cereal to, to to match. But then, like, don't you want to fill your bowl? Yeah, I mean, like, if yeah, you, if that's why you keep the that's why you keep the boxes handy and fill it as you go. It keeps your crunch factor high. No, it not. what? Damn, yes, it does because you have to refill multiple times in small doses. All you get are floaters, right? And then you just eat the floaters off the top. As crunchy as they can be, no, just like we soak. Pour That's a lot the of work. Ce- you pour the <laughs> cereal. You pour the cereal in, and then you. This put explains the milk. how you order ramen at restaurants, where you ex- order extra noodles on the side, and then you add no, more noodles. No, that's just because they don't give you me fucking enough noodles, man. <laughs> if yeah, I could get true. enough at the at the outset, I would, which I kind of do, but because I order it extra up front. Uh, okay, okay. Um, right. Can I tell you? Can I, there's not can enough I room in the bowl rec- either. Can I give a recommendation? <laughs> okay, yes, okay, absolutely. This is not for ramen, though. Okay. Um, if you're a fan of the captain Patrick Stewart, mm. and you want to see him do something really crazy and different and and uh, interesting, there is a really intense thriller called Green Room. Oh yes. I, oh I yes. Recommend it. I recommend Excellent. It. Green Room. Uh, two Star Trek yeah. alumni in there: Patrick Stewart and. Oh, yes. oh fuck! Uh, and if I, you see Jean Luc Picard Elgin. as a yes. benevolent, uh, diplomatic person, you wish was your dad. <laughs> yeah. You you should watch <laughs> Green Room right now. Yeah. 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 Anton Yelchin, Patrick Stewart, they both give very good performances in that. Yeah, oh. both yeah. Star Trek yeah. people. And not not just them too. Like everybody gives a good everybody. Yeah. yeah. But, How old but, is this before? Like at yeah, what yeah, point during Star like Trek? Yeah. Two thousand eight. Uh, Anton oh, Yelchin so... was a baby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, two thousand eight. No, so that means it was Patrick later than Stewart that. was I older. 2015, 2015. Oh, 2015. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, 2015 sounds right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it was one of Al- Anton Yelchin's like last movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's amazing. It stars Anton Yelchin, Imogen Poots. Um, yes, that's true. Aaliyah Sh- uh, Schwakat, Patrick Stewart, Joe Cole, and a bunch of other people that you would, that are character actors that you would know. Uh, mm-hmm. It's really, really good. And if you want to see another movie where Patrick Stewart's acting fucking crazy, go watch Safe House starring Patrick Stewart, mm. where he plays someone losing his mind and tries to be kept in check by FBI people. 
to make sure he doesn't kill people. <laughs> and he tries to shoot some gophers in his garden. It's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see him as anything other than Picard. Green or Room Professor X. Yeah. Professor X, yes. Well, I, I actually Miller, thought guess. of him as Professor X before I ever yep. thought of him as Picard because I didn't watch TNG, but I just yeah. thought he looked exactly like Professor X. Yeah, they I both act kind of similar. Yeah. The movie version of Patrick Stewart. That's or Pic- like how oh, it was yeah. with Jonathan I guess sort of, Frakes yeah. and me. I, I, Jonathan Frakes was, you know, beyond belief for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and that's also how I was with uh, uh, Gowron with Kavok instead. <laughs> I knew him to be Kavok. <sighs> oh, man. He gives a great Wait, performance in this episode. is Gowron not Cap- Captain Cav? No, no. It's just a different character he played. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, in this episode, like, we got the higher on. budget Rob O'Reilly. Yeah. Hold on. We wait, got the more expensive wait. Rob O'Reilly. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's why so his forehead ridges look not, different. So, he was playing a di- in the game. He Because I was like, yeah, in the game, we called him something else. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not Captain. Gar- he's not Gowron. He's Captain Kavok. Oh, yeah, why yeah. didn't they? They should have integrated the two. Like, well, what? Well, because they like Rob O'Reilly. But they also was like, well, it can't you know be what? Gowron. <laughs> He's no, the- <laughs> like if, if that's your justification, it should have been Colomini. Uh, Colomini should have been the should have been the Klingon that takes over the VCR that would, Enterprise. That would have been amazing. <laughs> wait, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. What season are we in? Uh, we're the we end just finished. Four. We just watched oh, four, Redemption, right? which is the season finale of season four. Which it's also incidentally the hundredth episode of TNG. So oh, ah. how about that? Yeah, Congrats, the end of TNG. The- Why it's are your the finale is always to be continued, or I guess because Best of Both Worlds did go, so well. Right? Yeah, Best, Best, of, both Best of Both Worlds did such a great jo- a job at drumming a pipe and actually kind of making the show explode. They were like, "Well, we gotta have to fucking do it again." We, I we guess can't most not shows do it, do it that way because they want you to come back for the next season. It's like a two part oh, yeah. episode where you're like, "What happens next?" That is the very essence of what a cliffhanger is about. And also, the cliffhanger yeah. of did Best you guys of Both know Worlds. That? I didn't know that. No. <laughs> The, the cliffhanger of Best of Both Worlds did more for Star Trek than any other episode or movie of Star Trek ever did. This like one? This one? Ter- this yeah. No, the, the Best of Both Worlds from last season when the Borg were attacking. You know what? Hot oh, take, the Borg hot one, take, that was nuts. Hot take, this one was better. Oh, I agree. I agree with you, actually. The Borg one was was like lame compared to this one. Oh, I, I totally agree, actually. Uh, the Borg one, I think, was because of the shock factor. And yeah. it's just like, oh my God, Patrick Stewart isn't scheduled to come back. He, this might be it. This yeah. might be when Riker takes over. So that I was, was what it was. I was holding my judgment until the second part we watched that. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't point. matter to me. But, but here's the thing about this one is that like, I, they ranked out on another one. Like, like they should have killed Patrick Stewart's character in that, in that one. In last I think, I still okay. think they should have, like if he is going to come back, he shouldn't come back to Captain immediately. It should have yeah, been like Riker that, that, being that's my thing, but like yeah. it's because of that evaluation that we already have of it now that I don't want to evaluate off of one half of four of this finale. Yeah, which is because well, like well, this might be a strong start to a finale, but just like Best of Both Worlds, it kind of fizzled in the second part. So, yeah, yeah, so we'll see. But I, we should we could, but for now we can only evaluate it with this part. And who we'll can see. judge? Yeah, we- <laughs> not us. Who are well, we to judge? Yeah. yeah, not us. We don't judge anything on this show. <laughs> no. Not at all. We don't know. We're we not haven't judgmental. seen enough. Yeah. Uh, Redemption. Too new. I want the full picture saw. before I Redemption. judge. Redemption. <laughs> uh, June 17 of 1991 is when this episode first aired. 1991. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Around the sun. All right, it's been two weeks since the premiere of the last episode we viewed. And so in the realm of movies, I always start there. On on June 7th, we had City Slickers. I actually oh, haven't seen it. I love that movie. <laughs> but I often hear that it's a movie that wouldn't be kind of hard to make now. I wonder, it would be or wouldn't be? Wait, what about it, it would, would be, be hard to make? I wonder what about I, it would be If hard I, to I recall, that? I think there's some off-color humor that may not hit so well anymore. <laughs> Um, I may not remember that very well at this point. Okay, what, what, but you, what, then, uh, which one? City which Slickers? One? Yes. I, I've never uh, seen it, so I can't say. It's like a I, weird, like, I, I city boy it. meets cowboy tale, so I'm not sure. All I know is Jake Gyllenhaal is in it. 
Yes. Mm. I might be confusing it with something else. And to be fair, I also watched City Slickers 2, weirdly, more than City Slickers, because it it was aired on syndication way more, like on like Saturday afternoon TVs. Oh, that that well that was the better one. They fixed the jump physics. Yeah, they get, they didn't let the the backwards long jump glitch got patched out and and see slickers too. No, that makes it worse. Um, <laughs> all right, I'll keep moving on because I actually have a kind of a bit because it's it's been two weeks. Mm. On the fourteenth, we had Kickboxer Two: The Road Back. Oh. It does not have John Claude Goddamn Van Dam. <laughs> so it is not mm. the road back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different road traveled. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I only bring it up because I noticed that it was written by David S. Goyer. You know, he's oh, the guy who wrote well, the Blade you know, that'll movies. That'll be fantastic then. <laughs> and, you know, he's also known for making Jonathan Kent a scaredy ass bitch who killed himself for nothing. Yeah. I'm talking about Man of Steel, by the way. He wrote Man of Steel. Um, <laughs> And also on the same day, this movie was brought up on our podcast just a few episodes ago. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, directed by Kevin Reynolds and starring Kevin Costner. The buzz leading up to this movie's release presumably influenced TNG to stick them into Sherwood Forest for Cupid. Um, yes. As opposed to like Camelot or whatever, they were. So, yeah, I want to. ideas. I want to make a correction. I made uh, uh, what I accidentally said last time when that episode oh, came out boy. was that oh, Robin Hood had just come out. It hadn't come out yet, and right. they, oh, there was dude. like trailers, and people were like you know hyped what, for Kevin Costner being in a Robin Hood movie. So they're like, oh, let's do it. So, yeah, there's yeah, buzz. Dude. There's buzz. This, there's this enough. That, like that's a really about bad it. thing you said, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I have to make a separate apology video. Yeah, um, dude. You gotta, stay tuned for a new segment, Ricardo's Retractions. <laughs> yeah. Where he admits to all the things he's said wrong yeah. across the entirety of our podcast. I have never said anything wrong. <laughs> never. And that concludes never. our entirety of Ricardo's Retractions. <laughs> Thank you for listening, I have everybody. never said anything wrong, yeah. nor will ever say anything yeah. wrong. <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here I got actually a bit of like fun educational stuff coming. Oh. Uh, the Columbia Space Shuttle had another nine-day excursion from June 5th to 6th to the 14th. Uh, this time it was to carry out the very first solely biological focused mission. They carried up a module called Space Lab inside the shuttle. And while up there, they conducted tests on uh, and measurements on humans, rodents, and you guessed it, jellyfish. Jellyfish. <laughs> I was going to yeah. say ants. <laughs> I wish. I fucking I wish. <laughs> they sent like dogs and cats into space and stuff. I thought maybe. Uh, Laika was were, the first. Yeah. Yeah. Li- Laika mm-hmm. was the cosmonaut Laika. dog. Yeah. I don't know how. I- I don't know how I feel about that because but it was I, mostly don't, other countries I don't want to go that, to space. Oh, th- there's an awesome story about like a tortoise or a turtle. I forget which it was but that was sent they up sent to, space, to space, I think, by Russia. <laughs> But Did it, it fucking survived. It went around oh, the fucking moon, came back and survived. What a badass. That's Wait, a badass what do you mean? Turtle. <laughs> Wait, Someone I'll look s- it up. Not, not in space, like, out, like yeah. inside, they, right? They, they shot it into fucking space. No, yeah, the, the turtle was cute. No, 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 no space shuttle, nothing. They just, they just shot it into space. No. Yeah. <laughs> I was I'm like, just wow, Googling it doesn't Russian need oxygen space turtle. To, hey, those, those shells yeah, are yeah, very, they, very they, protective. They, they the, the first they, they earthlings they around the moon. <laughs> the, fir- <laughs> the first Tuck earthlings in, around the legs, moon. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you find it? Did you- yeah, the first earthlings around the moon were two Soviet tortoises. There were two of them. Yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah. Wait, can it's we fucking- expand on what what do you mean they went around the moon? The headline says America unimpressed. America's unimpressed by your tortoises. Wait, I don't get it. How did they go around oh, the moon? Man. They it's just amazing. put them on a module and they're like, yeah, let's they put, yeah, they put, let, I think what they just themselves? launched a rocket. Like, yeah, yeah, by I themselves. Don't get it. So what they were testing like is Like a back tiny then, rocket or what? Yeah, and like yeah, a little it module. It was a pretty big rocket. Big so enough to get to space. Yeah, yeah, so yeah what they were testing. Tortoises. Well, they made it Sarah, to space. Sarah, they had to be small enough for them to control the... the Tortoises are like, <laughs> oh, that's actually but, pretty impressive. But, but basically, they're that's testing adorable. if stuff like because they weren't sure what space would be like, so they weren't sure if gamma radiation would kill living things in space so yet. Let's right? Just send two innocent animals. Yeah, you know what? what you know what's like... guaranteed to survive? Tortoises. Look at their shells. <laughs> I mean, those shells got to do something. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, that's insane. Imagine being the tortoise oh, and being they, like, they where are we going? They lost some body weight. Oh, interesting. How, mu- how, how long was their trip? Oh my, oh my God. God. How did they eat? How did they drink? They gave them what? food. They gave them uh, a, 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 like the, the just Russian the scientists that shot them up there. Yeah. But they just put it in the room. Yeah, I guess so. I guess they, they, they knew not to it? eat it all at once. <laughs> like, what? I don't know. I just <laughs> like, know that it happened odd. and it's badass. <laughs> they also I, like returned to the wrong ocean. Like they thought it was going to land in Kazakhstan, but accidentally landed in the Indian Ocean. So they were like, oh shit, we got to go all the way to the Indian <laughs> Ocean. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh my Poor god! Tortoises. You know, I feel they, they really were, bad for the tortoises. Now. They were like, "Save our turtles! Let them out!" <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, These poor okay. animals are like, "Where am I? Where am I going? Where are we? Like, what is this?" <laughs> At least they have a friend. They had each other. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I don't, they think, had, I don't they quite, think they have what the a ability journey. for what a story plot. they had to tell for all the other <laughs> oh, tortoises back home. <laughs> like, man, we went Fantastic. to fucking outer space. That's children's yeah, book material, everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's free. Why, are, why aren't there more children's books about the brave tortoises that went around the moon? Because we shouldn't and do it. And we like, shouldn't like put, us sad, but, you know. We shouldn't put this in anyone's head that this is okay <laughs> to do that. It's not. Maybe they want to. You don't know. You don't know if the tortoises were like, oh, man, I'd love to go around the moon. No. <laughs> yeah. You know, those people who are like, I don't care so. if I if I have to spend the rest of my life up there. I want to go on a Mars mission. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. There yeah. Are There's people who people do that. who want to leave everything. And, and how do you know they didn't get known. notarized signed statements from the tortoises that said exactly the same sort of thing? That's true. I'm sure they were interviewed and had to go through a yeah. physical. Yeah. Extensive psychological yeah. testing. <laughs> they yeah, had, they had turtle psychics. That's why yeah. there's only two turtles, you know. Oh, yeah, only of two turtles. made the cut. <laughs> yeah, several hundreds of wide. turtles want, <laughs> tortoises wow. wanted to go. That's pretty crazy. Wait, did it say how long they were up there for? Like how long? I can't were they? find that. I don't know why. I don't know, but <laughs> okay. I don't long? want to get too lost in the weeds. There's still some more. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll keep going. Oh, I'll keep going. We'll research uh, this after. Bonus can episode. Can someone? <laughs> can, can, can one of our listeners? Can wait? Six days, eighteen hours, twenty four minutes. So. Can Holy can, can nice. one of our listeners make if you're if you're into art and you're you have the time look can you make <laughs> us um either Photoshop or make us like a like a Ninja Turtles <laughs> character but with like a like a Starfleet uniform you know and like a Jordy's visor kind of thing you know yeah stuff like that that'd be pretty cool that should be and our none new of that logo. stable diffusion crap like we used no yeah. yeah. <laughs> That we la- I lazily used because I that morning I went. I don't want to Photoshop <laughs> anything today. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. Uh, moving on. On TV on the tenth of June, the then final episode of David Lynch and Mark Frost's Twin Peaks aired. Oh. Their attempt to drum up hype and interest with a cliffhanger season finale didn't mm. work out. It ruined you know, the, the show. cliffhanger <laughs> series finale. And then a year later, they released a a prequel movie that didn't really resolve the cliffhanger. And then 25 years later after that, they finally picked it up where they left off for one last weird ass season. Oh, wait, this is the second season finale. Is that what it was? Second season finale. Yes. Okay. The first one ruined the show. Uh, The first one. Oh, wait, I actually can't forget. I I, I, no. what really ruined the show is when they revealed who killed Laura Palmer. And that happened mid season two. That was mid. I thought that was the finale of season one. Am I misremembering? Nah, man. Okay, I'm misremembering. Okay, I must be misremembering. Um, So yeah, Uh, moving on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where am I? (laughs) On six twelve, Michael Jordan got his very first championship with the Bulls. It was also his first MVP title and first NBA Finals appearance in general. With Mm. you know, is neat. I mentioned him before, but just like this was again the beginning of era Jordan. And uh, on the 13th, oh, this is kind of crazy. Um, a spectator at the U.S. Open Golf Tournament in Minnesota was killed by lightning. Whoa. And if that wasn't crazy mm. enough, in August, another spectator at the PGA Championship was also killed by lightning in Indiana. Oh, my Thereby God. proving oh. that golf spectating is the most dangerous sport yes. in the world. <laughs> I've heard about this. Like, y- your chances of being struck by lightning, like, on a golf course is, like, pretty high, right? It's higher than it's, most other things. There's activities. a lot of Why? open Why? space where yeah. you are the highest point. Yeah. So lightning, yeah. if lightning is around, it's going to like you. <laughs> um, then you're even higher to be hit. Yes. By the lightning. Heightening. Yes. And then finally, heck, just one more wacky headline. On the 17th air date itself, they exhumed ex-president Zachary Taylor's remains to prove he wasn't assassinated. Oh, okay. 
Why was there mystery around that? I don't know the history. I don't know much about it either, to be honest with you. God damn it, Dan. <laughs> I just happened to read that as a headline. I was like, that's wacky. President <laughs> President Zachary Taylor Thomas from Tool Time? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, him. God. Exactly him. We also, this, so there's someone we know who's actually descended Z- of T- Zachary T- Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah. I won't say out loud, but we know someone who's technically a descendant of Zachary Taylor. And it's 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 fascinating. Yeah. Do I oh, know? Cool. Him? You know him too. We all know him. Okay. <laughs> I'll need, I'll need to be refreshed. On I feel that like I point. know who it is. Yeah. That's, I think you that's and, okay. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> Fuck a James Maybe Franco. they know if he was actually assassinated. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, Bernie killed me. Damn it, Bernie! <laughs> Hey, go open oh. the door. Now Sarah's room. dead, Bernie. Sarah, and, and on, oh, no. <laughs> and on April 11th, 2023, Sarah was killed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just killed by my cat, Barn. Oh, oh no, he's going to cry all sad. Okay. Carry right. on. Has I'll deal with you? him. Yeah, okay. He me. Thank you for allowing me to carry on because that's the end of our trip around the sun. Oh, my Woo-hoo. God. Wow. Woo. What a trip. We can so, finally talk about Star Trek. Well, not yet, because we first we got to quickly talk about our sponsors. But we can I do that really when I do that. I do God that by accident on, like so many times. <laughs> I fucking hate it when I do that. Dad. Well, listen, we can just do that real quick. We got ExpressVPN, right? ExpressVPN is cool because if you want a VPN to protect your identity on the internet as part of your general security toolkit, not just on its own, but ExpressVPN and VPNs like that will help quite a bit. But ExpressVPN is a great choice because it's you got know some of the... Oh. Marvin, I have to interrupt you there, dude. Oh. Don't get ExpressVPN. Don't oh. get ExpressVPN if you don't value security, dude. If you, if you, <laughs> see? See what I did there, dude? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Dead serious Re- about going Re- itchy and scratchy <laughs> like <laughs> Reverse psychology. Oh, yeah, dude. Got it, me. Look, if you like to if you like to just bear back the fuck of the internet, don't get ExpressVPN. Don't. 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 If get you <laughs> are thinking <laughs> of raw dogging. This internet. <laughs> don't. <laughs> uh, Especially that's, that's, with all this AI. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> the, those trailers were the best part of Greenhouse. <laughs> yeah. And they should remain as trailers, every single yes, one of them. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, but ExpressVPN, listen. Although one of them didn't, right? It, machete became a thing. So, well, that's what I mean. Yeah. I think they made movies out of like multiple of those multiple of them not well, just machete. Well, okay okay they did they did machete one and two and this thanksgiving thanksgiving is coming out by eli Roth. Is yeah it? there you go yeah 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 they're, they're, they're going Wait, for it that's so. this thanksgiving i thought i thought I mean, he just, i knew he was working on it but i for some reason i thought like it already happened and i just missed oh, it wow. like, no it's this thanksgiving oh wow Don't that was so long ago get <laughs> express vpn <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, but if you do uh, want to get it ex- was funny <laughs> If you do want to get ExpressVPN, you can head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months of free VPN time. And that's a whole total savings of 49%. And ExpressVPN is great because it's one of the most secure VPNs out there. It's been tested in the field in practice many times by probes from governments, from other people. In fact, they're, when it comes to internet vulnerabilities, they're actually amongst the first to hot fix a lot of these issues if you're connected to ExpressVPN before most other services because that's what they care about. They also have 3,000 plus servers in 160 locations spanning 94 countries. There's pretty much an app for any device you're thinking about using it on. And it's actually super fast. It actually does at least 500 up, 500 down, depending on where you live. And in certain, some some places, they're going even faster. And you can even use it with streaming services like Netflix. It works with Plex. I use it all the time with Plex. It's great. In so fact, again, I hear tell that Netflix in certain regions of the world might still have Star Trek TNG on it. <gasps> oh, my God. That's crazy. I actually didn't know that. If you, I just I, something I heard. So okay, oh, mm. so I heard overseas. You want to try that you out? Didn't, you, you didn't hear that from Dan. Okay. <laughs> no, nope. Don't no. don't. I know he said he heard it, but yeah, I heard it was another guy Dan. named Dan. Dan. Yeah, that, that was me, Carmen talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just Carmen. doing his voice. I like to do impressions sometimes, you know. <laughs> Dan, Dan. Don't um, don't don't get me started, Marvin. You know the, what's the trigger for me. <laughs> Trigger. That makes it sound so <laughs> awful. <laughs> I will not stop. 
I think about it too much. You will not it stop yelling a, curse word uh, after curse word. No, it was such a funny moment though. Like, oh yeah, uh, yeah. I, I want to say write something. That stuff, I, I, like, I want to say something know? about our our sponsors. Mm. And this is we're. I'm gonna try to stand by this. Look. <laughs> This we do this thing. We've been doing it for a while. We're getting new sponsors. We're trying to get more sponsors. We're trying to make a little, you know, we're trying to wet our beak with a little money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and um, I love that term for some reason, like and um, you know, and the truth is, we're gonna do our darndest to only have products here that we've either used or we are using oh, yeah. currently. And yeah. extra CPN is one of them. Uh, I I still use it. I just renewed for a second year. I mm-hmm. had it for a year. It expired. And I renewed at full price just because that's the type of shit that I like. It's 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 it is what the, what they say, dude. They're not lying, dude. They sent these VPNs to space with two turtles back in the day. <laughs> they came back secure shit, dude. They're still alive, so no I'm, I'm on board. Yeah, no leaks. So I'm on board with them. And the wallet I used to use, I don't use it anymore, but I used mm-hmm. to use it, and I stand by it. So does I Marvin, and mm-hmm. that's gonna be our our kind of like like no bullshit thing like like we well i wouldn't feel good telling people to get something if i didn't know like how i would feel terrible yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't want to tell somebody like oh buy this mattress when i haven't used you know what if it has cheese mites in it yeah Yeah. what if you break someone's back i mean i I, I, what if it doesn't be bad (laughs) do you guys remember like back in the day when like casper mattresses was doing like lots Ah. of offers (laughs) yeah (laughs) They're still like, Casper, though, right? I know, but like they were for podcasts, especially they were like Wait, being they're like, "They're going to be our next sponsor, Marvin." Shh, no. <laughs> well, well Ka- the thing about Casper is that they're spectrally um, uh, indisposed, uh, <laughs> and like that was like okay, like. I guess they did send some of these people actual large mattresses for them to try, <laughs> but it's like, how yeah, practical <laughs> could that be for most people to, most podcasters to actually you test, you know? Try a mattress. You just use it. You I'm replace not your mattress. Fucking I mean, we could go down mattress. a laundry list of popular <laughs> podcast sponsors we've heard of, but I don't want to jeopardize any chance. Yeah. We don't know what the future holds. Okay. Casper <laughs> might just email us tomorrow. We don't I know. I don't yet. want their shit. If I, I mean, I, I'd, I would personally sponsor or be cool with the Brooklyn betting sponsorship because they've been amazing. Our Brooklyn betting beds are awesome, but I don't know. Anyway, I should finish this off. Uh, it's also a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can just wet if, your beak with yeah. Yeah. Best VPN. Let us, let us wet our beak, guys. <laughs> See if you like At it. At the if end you of don't, the day, we all just want to wet our beaks. Okay? Yeah. If you don't Wait, you shouldn't be back. insinuating that the customer's wetting their beak at all. Like <laughs> They're doing nothing to wet I their used beak to, in I this used, scenario. No, I used the term. No, no, isn't getting the product wetting your beak a little bit? No, too? no, no. That's Weird getting away from me. Say so. Sarah, <laughs> don't tell them to get their, with their beak, dude. No. <laughs> We're winning our beak. We're, okay, so yeah. we're doing our beaks are dry. Beak. Yeah, our beaks are we dry. We have the driest shit, beaks here. God damn it. Okay. And so I want to say, I say beaks. yeah, okay. yeah. I, I want to say, hey, hey, Metformin, if you want to sponsor us, I've been using your medication for quite a years now for my diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eli, no, are they and Eli I, Lily? I don't know if they are, but I can, or I whatever. Can, I can Lily. vouch. I can vouch. <laughs> it has kept my blood sugar down and in control. <laughs> Metformin is a way to go. <laughs> yeah. So expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. So expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And also Exter, that's E-K-S-T-E-R dot com. You guys know what they are. Compact yeah. wallets, cool pop-out card button, quick access, high quality materials, RFID yes. blocking plates. And they do more than just wallets. Just check yeah. out their whole catalog at shop.exter.com slash newbie, or just go to exter.com and use the offer code newbie for up to an additional 25% off any order site-wide. This offer stacks with ongoing yeah, sales. Yeah, dude. Stacks so, and stacks and stacks, dude. So like, if there's already like, a sale going on, like just rappers add, get even more off with our with our offer code newbie. So yep. and uh free shipping. Any order over fifty dollars, free returns within forty five days of receiving your order. So you get a whole month and a half to try it out before you if you don't like it or not. Hey, so hey guys, it's Father's Day coming up. Very soon. That's true. That's true. Get you yourself, know get yourself what? Mother's Day too. Wallets. Mom, mom you know could what? want like a cool, sleek wallet. Moms, moms solid have, gold. Women have too many holidays for themselves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 keep a straight face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, I'm not. Um, or am I? Um, so seriously, guys, 
Uh, you can get your mama wallet. You can get your grandma yeah. wallet. Well, she probably if she doesn't leave the house, then don't get her wallet. She's <laughs> just gonna she's just gonna sit there, and then she's gonna die, and then someone's gonna have to like fight for it. <laughs> So don't buy her one. Buy your mom. <laughs> buy your dad a wallet if you, if he's around. You if can not, buy your mom a keychain if she doesn't yeah, want a wallet. Too. Yeah, dads yeah, can be that. moms too. You know, for play both roles. Yeah, Mr. Moms. Yeah, look, Mr. Moms look, out there. You know, for whom? Got Get Michael for they, Keaton a wallet. They buy yeah. a wallet for them. Huh? See what I did? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they them. I like that. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And and tell you what, order it sooner rather than later, dude. Because whew, I've done this. You wait too long, and it's like <laughs> shipping two weeks, and you're like, "Fuck, my Father's Day's like this." Though week. Exer does ship really fast, I know that. Uh, Look, I've gotten a few. They products do, yeah. but that. shut up. What about during Father's <laughs> Father's Day? It's gonna they're gonna have a high <laughs> volume of wallets. Being yeah, sold. that's true. That's true. Mama's uh, Day, so get them early. Father's Day. Yeah, get them early. Get them out there, dude. If you don't, if your dad's not around, sorry for oh, your you. Oh, you know what? You should get Express VPN for parents because boomers do weird stuff on the internet. So oh I yeah, they that would be are helpful. looking at fucking Fox News, and yeah, you know, dude, you know, I don't want to say anything <laughs> about that, but Express <laughs> VPN can help. You Talk know? about yes. raw dog and the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely set that up for your Cesspool. parents. You don't even have to explain it; just yeah. put it on their devices or whatever, and just be like, "It's better this way." And so. you could set up, um, not to go back on Express VPN, yeah, but you could set it up on your phone. So like when your phone shuts off and it comes back on, oh, it, yeah, kicks, yeah. it kicks back on on its own. Yes. Yes. So yes. You don't have to, you set it and forget it. Kind of like the food dehydrator. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but also no, it's, it's the if, countertop rotisserie. Yes. That yes. too. Yeah. The Showtime rotisserie grill that you set it and forget it. Yeah. Showtime. That's what it was. Listening. Yeah. And it and also has it? as a flavor injector where you can put oh, entire yeah. cloves of garlic <laughs> And one last thing I want to say, it's the end of season four. Every listener that's been listening for a while, thank you. Really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Look, you sit through all this bullshit, dude. We're talking about <laughs> turtles, stupid turtles in space and fucking yeah, chicken injectors. Where you could buy the best cocaine. And now you're just uh, listening to us thank you instead of talking about yeah. Star Trek. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but seriously, I talk a lot of shit, but I really appreciate everybody who's listening and who, who gets the point of this podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey, we're just being silly and having fun, guys. You know, like no one's uh no one's over here uh passing legislation on fucking Star Trek bullshit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's true. We're not professionals here. We're 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 newbie Star Trek. We're not yeah. uh we're not a uh, seasoned veteran fucking no. Star Trek. Yeah, we're barely wrapping our head around the Prime Directive. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. like the and crew, I, the Enterprise. I still don't know how these people wipe their fucking butts. So that's that's <laughs> yeah. where we're at. Sonic toilet and paper. The last thing is if you're a new listener and you're like, oh, I want to, this is my favorite episode. I'm going to listen to it. You probably got it by now, but if you're easily offended, ah, maybe this isn't the podcast for you. You know? <laughs> yeah. And it's okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're Every, 30 there's something minutes in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, like, they're, if this is their first episode, they're gone already. <laughs> no, they're not, dude. Because <laughs> they, we got we got up with the turtles. <laughs> and they're here. They're here. They the, like. They're like. Yeah. Is, if there's Thanks more the space turtle. turtle talk, I'm fucking in. But if they <laughs> say you know that, that they, would if, get me. That yeah, would get if me. If they say cunt once, I would stay I'm for out, that. You know. Yeah. So yeah. I apologize. It's that type of show. Only if one of them was named Sergey. <laughs> yeah. Well. Either way, thank you. And if you're uh, if you're yeah. a listener who hates this podcast and hate and sends hate me all the time, we appreciate you too. Because we do. Because you're taking the time to write that. And you're also taking the time to give us bad reviews on on iTunes. Go ahead mm -hmm. and do that, dude. Leave us a ba that bad review uh, on uh, Google Podcast. Everything, whatever you want, dude. Go. Apple can, if you got the time, I can do it, dude. You know, write us long emails. We <laughs> yeah. love the long emails too. Just keep yeah. going. Yeah. Do well, whatever. Get it going. Let right me reviews. finish off just by saying shop.extra.com slash newbie or use offer <laughs> yeah. code newbie at extra.com up to 25% additionally off any order site. Why? I'm telling you, tell them that it's a great idea if they call one of their wallets a dickskin wallet. <laughs> they, hear me out. Just hear me call out. it that. Hear, yeah, just call it that. <laughs> but they Think can't lie. It's you a good... will be like, this isn't genuine dickskin. We're going <laughs> to recall the thing. your wallets. Here's the thing. That's a great conversation starter at a party <laughs> you know yeah you know if you're talking to a lady or if you're a lady trying to buy a, a, a dude a beer or uh, whoever what, what, they them you know um person yeah to whom it may concern if you're trying to buy somebody a, a drink and you're like hey can i get your drink and they're like oh no no thank you. I'm, I'm good and then you go oh, okay i was gonna you know take out my dick skin wallet to pay for it you know and they're like excuse <laughs> me 
<laughs> and he, you're like, yeah, my dick skin wallet. And then boom, they're hooked. Yeah. You got them. <laughs> you can also get just say it was ethically sourced. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Ethically yes. sourced dick skin. Dick skin. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Ethically sourced. So you don't have to feel bad about it. This you know? this dick skin was from adult circumcisions. We don't that, hide that that wild that dick were skins <laughs> in the wild. Optional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 They wanted they wanted this. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They just wanted <laughs> this. Volunteered, <laughs> ethically dick sourced skin. dicks. Yeah, ethically sourced. God damn it, dude! I apologize. Well, I don't know what we're doing, dude. I think this is very appropriate to bring her up right now <laughs> for this episode. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this yeah. episode? Shocker! Dude, you got a dumb haircut, <laughs> like so, all Robulans. So wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. Hold up, yeah. hold up, hold up. Is this a new character? I don't know. We don't know. Honestly, I honestly don't know. And I'm very glad that I didn't uh, like stumble upon this spoiler like years before. Like okay. I had no idea this was coming. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Even though like I started to think maybe that's Tasha when she was talking earlier in the episode. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I. So at the end, spoiler alert, we'll, we'll Tarantino this shit. <laughs> the end, Tasha comes out. I don't know if it's the same. A- so it's the same actor. So why are they, they, like, are they just pulling what they did with um, Crazy Eye Guy? Um, no. Like, you know, no. we'll just repurpose the same actor, even though in no, the game he was the one thing. thing and, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I know, think, whatever. I think, I think this situation here is the whole trope of like, this is a, this is a huge storyline in like American Assassin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, American which is I don't know what that is. Someone someone trained somebody, and then they were like their protege, and then they they fell behind enemy lines, kind of like Rambo two. Remember, they're like Rambo go scout these people and blah blah, and then mm-hmm. he came back, and they didn't pick him up. They left him there to get tortured by the goddamn mm. Russians. It's a piece mm-hmm. of shit. Um, <laughs> and it's the same thing. Like she was probably tortured by Venom, and then Venom spit her out and made her, you know, the protege, the Venom two, mm. more Venom, Carnage. I thought um, she died. They reclaim though. her Did body. Did she not die? Like I'm I confused. thought that they were able to beam her up to the Enterprise they, and give her a no, funeral. No, yeah, but, but they they shot her body into space. So oh, okay, so Venom just went and got her. Yeah, she had Venom in her, dude. I I guess that's possible. She and swallowed if, Venom, and if he's you know what I mean? truly Venom, then he's all symbiote anyway. So, so yeah, you yeah. guys remember the mysterious person in the shadow? In yeah, the, jo- the yeah. Jordy Manchurian episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah huh. Yeah, that yeah. was so. That yeah. was that was also Denise. But Crosby. I don't understand. The, is she is she is she episode. dead or not dead? Or was she? Sarah, you don't know Sarah, that. We don't know that. We don't know that. You're asking questions that we don't have answers to. <laughs> but you're you're on the right path. Yet. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. That's why the cliffhanger. So, that's why it's the last. We'll find out next season. Yeah, this episode starts off and it's badass, dude. You got fucking Worf and his goddamn gi, dude. Yeah, fucking practicing his kata, dude. Yeah, it's <laughs> like fucking American, uh, like American Ninja. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all just like with. American Ninja. <laughs> yeah, they're they're going back to fucking. I mean, uh, if you had the big, big old Q-tip, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like an they're American going back gladiator. to um, Warfland. What is it called? Uh, Warfland. Yeah. yeah, they're going back to Warfland, Warf's hometown, <laughs> and they're gonna go mediate. So the the dude, the old dude, fucking Chumley died. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're Chum- gonna go over there, and they're gonna they're gonna figure out who the next king is. You know who? who well, they the next... know, but now they do have an to... interim Chumley. They have yeah. challengers. Yeah, yeah. The, the two hot, of... there are two hot ladies sisters. The two hot well, sisters. The, the, I mean, the, the Mortal Kombat women sisters. <laughs> 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 the ladies with the with the nice assets. <laughs> um, those suits were really, really revealing. Really oh, yeah. revealing. Yeah. yeah, the, the Duras sisters yeah. are quite oh, the popular Duras in fandom. The Duras sisters, Ooh. yeah, are they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess that only makes sense. Like a lot so, of boobs going on. Yeah, I didn't realize what that was until I was like, "Whoa, what's that on their costume? Oh, that's their chest." <laughs> yeah, boobs. yeah. So wow. uh, they're going over there to to kind of be, uh, Picard's a liaison, the the um, the arbiter, the, the arbiter, the arbiter of ascension. Yeah, and so he's over there, and he's going to go, you know, figure this thing out. And Worf has the intention of restoring his honor because everyone, every time he meets a fucking Worfian, they're like, "You're a bitch ass fool, dude. You you ain't shit, dude." Uh, <laughs> well, he doesn't immediately. Picard actually like goes in there to be like, "Hey, this is about to go down. You should totally go and like talk yeah. to Galron." Okay, and your I, I actually, yeah. <laughs> I actually don't understand that. Does was um. I felt like Picard just came in and told him like, Hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to restore your honor. Like, did anyone consult? No, no, no I don't think he like, did that. Do you even want to do this? 
Why? I don't think that's what he's saying. Huh? That's oh, really? not what he said. I felt no. like he was no, no, like no. he said he was like, "Oh, you should go in there, and we're gonna like restore your honor, and we're gonna." He didn't. He didn't do this. prescribe no. him to do it. He's go. He oh. said, "I'm coming to you as your tajich." My recommendation is, hasn't it been long enough? Why don't you want to try yeah. to get it back? No, yeah. he's not I feel like, like he's not, he was being like, more forceful, but I guess no, I could have no. read into it a little too No, much. he wasn't being forceful at all, I think. I think no. he was being like, well, yeah. why? Well, I read you? it as, I, I kind of picked up on a bit of like personal frustration on Picard's part. It's yeah, like, you're going to exactly. keep on being a little bitch like this, man? Like, Well, <laughs> th- that was on Picard though, but he didn't force him. He was just like, hey, we're going over yeah. here. If you, if you got well, yeah, it, he was giving him a very strong reminder. He's like, if you want to do it now, this is a good time. You're, it's like also it's weird that nothing happened when you killed Duras. Like yeah. I think I'm also projecting because every person that meets Worf, like yeah, like Ricardo was mentioning, mentions every single time how dishonorable he is, and I'm like yeah. so tired of it at this point. Yeah, it is <laughs> kind of like, it is kind of like weary. It's like we get it. He's he's a piece oh, of shit. Worf, okay. too, you traitor! Ew. I don't talk to traitors. You know. And so you're the like, reason right. why it lasted so long and it's kept happening is because Redemption was originally the season three finale, and uh. they decided to ditch that in favor of Best of Both Worlds. Which probably for the health of the show was the right move. It kind of catapulted Certainly. the show into, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. For sure. like mainstream status. But because of that, you then have an entire season afterward, you know, including Kalar coming back and getting killed and all this stuff, where Worf really just deals with being dishonored this whole time and now has to finally try. So the, the, Picard being like, why haven't you done it in a while is more of a symptom of the fact that they were going to do it much quicker, but mm. they just decided to push it off to the next season because it was always meant to be a two-parter like this. So Worf should have been like, I would have earlier, but you had to go get taken over by the Borg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you idiot. You bitch, you bitch ass fool. Um, <laughs> so he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go fucking kick their ass. And and um, <laughs> so they get hailed and it's it's a uh, Gorag or Gor- Gargantuan, what's his name? Gowron, 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 and and Gowron. so the, so Garon's like, hey, bro, sidebar, there, there's gonna be civil war, dude. It's gonna be bad over there <laughs> mm-hmm. because, like, basically, like he's the next guy in charge, but like the stupid fucking uh, Golden Girl sisters, um, what are <laughs> Beatrice and Ursula, um, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, hey, these crazy bitches are gonna come in, they're gonna challenge me, and they're gonna try to assassinate me, but you have to step in, and he's like, nah, bro, like I'm just. I'm just the middleman. You know what I mean? I'm just there to make sure everything goes by the book, but I'm not, I'm not going to nudge it either way. I'm just here to keep the peace mm-hmm. and be like the liaison, the, uh, what is it called? Arborator. Uh, arborator. Ar- Ar- arborator? Arbiter. Carburetor. The carburetor. Arbiter. Yeah, the, car- the carburetor. The carburetor. The abattoir. Yeah. And so the he, carburetor he, of car session. So then, <laughs> so then, um, Worf walks this dude over there to the transporter. He's going to send him back. And he's like, he's like, dude, I'll help you, dude. But if you restore my honor, and he's like, what do you mean? He's like, well, these fools, the Chumley dude from the last episode, we cover for him. The the Trumps, basically. Mm. We cover for the Trumps. <laughs> They're fucking liars. And they had a bunch of documents. And <laughs> they- It literally did. They had a bunch they of fake documents. Had documents. <laughs> yeah, they, they had a bunch of fake documents. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and because there's it's such an old clan and because I want to keep peace- I went with it, but they're chumleys and they're pieces of shit, dude. Their whole family lines of fucking piece of shit liars. Mm. And I am now ready and I have proof that they lied to us, that they basically lied to you and they, they falsified stuff. And he's like, he's like, well, he wants to help, but like, he basically is like, well, you're putting me he, in he an awkward situation here, Worf. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you could tell that Gowron is actually like kind of devastated by that news. He literally like walks over yeah. to the wall and kind of hunches over and is like, oh my God, these guys are fucking assholes. And yeah. then that's why I think why Worf is like, you know, I do think you're kind of an honorable guy, but then Gowron's like, well, I can't do that though. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. He basically, he basically says, I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. yeah. So then Worf's like practicing. Just like Worf fucking- was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. I too am scared. <laughs> 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 and then um, he talks to Galen, and he's like, "Hey, oh my God, we're, yeah. we'll, we'll practice in together that weird, in that weird room, the holiday yeah. is up in the Tron room." Yeah. yeah, and so they're both like, "Hey, well, Galen's like, hey, she basically like breaks down like how he is and how he's 
that's why he's so special, basically, you know? And now he, he needs the to best be a better father. Worlds. Worf is, is the best No, she doesn't actually, which is why I thought the scene was so funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, well, she kind like of was like... She brings like, up Alexander just to be like, hey, well, he's still figuring things out like you are, Worf. Yeah. I yeah. think it's like they kind of just all have accepted that Worf cannot be a father. <laughs> yeah. well, Worf's, a, Worf's a Debbie dad. <laughs> They're not well, even the, trying to call him out on not is, being with his son. It's just like, well, yeah, he yeah. seems to be able to keep tabs on him, but that's plenty. That's good enough. Yeah. They're like, she, like she, Sarah brought this point up. She somehow knows that, Alexander can laugh. Yeah, that yeah. Alexander can laugh. And I was like, are you or that he Alexander? does laugh regularly? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, where, where have you been? Guided? It implied that she had some kind of relationship with the kid. Maybe um, she maybe, regularly like Skypes well, no, I think it implied Zoom that, calls yeah, with the Russian the parents, grandparents the, or grandparents. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't think it implied that she has contact with the kid, that she has contact with like checking in on his well being, meaning the the grandparents. Oh, um, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think the kid has the 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 capability of fucking uh, uh, like having a conversation with fucking Kaylin, Galen, whatever her name is. Um, and so, so anyway, she's like, "Hey, like you, you're figuring out, and your son's figuring out. It's okay. It's okay to want to figure out shit, you know." Mm-hmm. And so he's like, "All right." And then he turns out that we find out that like he sucks at fucking shooting targets, um, <laughs> and Galen's way better. And so he uh, he goes to Picard and he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna take a leave of absence because he's gonna go mm-hmm. handle some business down in the in the city." And Picard has picked up a bunch of fucking Worfian words. Like he's like, "Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on. He knows yeah. the one he keeps saying is kaplach, which actually means success. Yes. yes, by the way. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. So, I'd forgotten what that had meant. So then yeah, Worf visits. It up. Worf visits with the Candyman, and the Candyman yes. uh, <laughs> candy is his brother. Yes. And the Candyman's like, he like, has hey. a powerful brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and the, the Candyman's like, like, hey, what's up, bro? And he's like, hey, we're, I'm gonna restore our family honor. And if we've forgotten the reminder, I'm reminding everybody that like they don't know, no one knows that they're brothers because they hid uh, yes. the Candyman's yeah. like last lineage. Name. Mm-hmm. Yes, they don't know the, that if you say Worf three times, the Candyman shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, which ship is called the Bortas? Is that Gauron's ship? That's Gauron's ship. Yeah. Okay. The Gortas, the Portas, and the Santa Maria. Um, <laughs> My ship is also <laughs> named Bortas. <laughs> Damn it! That's what I named a Zencaster session, you bastard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize that you already made the joke. Um, but that's fine because that was for internal use and that was for external use. Mm. Uh, so, so the Candyman's like, oh, don't worry, bro. Like, you know, like we're going to help the Trumps. Like, you yeah. Know, the illegitimate Trump, fucking Stephanie Trump, <laughs> fucking be in charge. Yeah. And, and he's like, she's the most useless one of all. Like, she's got no talent at all. And he's like, oh, don't worry, dude. Like, it's going to be fine, dude. And he's like, no, like, I need you to, I need you to go the other way. And he's like, why? And he's like, because I'm only your older brother, you piece of shit. And he's like, oh, I respect that. <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. You're, right. Right. you're the mind. daddy now. Yeah. Cause. Yeah. And so, so he, he's like, all right. And he's, he's like, I have three captains that'll follow me. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, the rest will, or kind of like in the middle. Mm-hmm. They're Switzerland. And yes. he's like, all right. And he's, so he's like, all right, let's, let's fucking do this, dude. He's like, when I give you the signal, unleash hell. And he's like, all right, all right, dude. And then so they go and Picard goes to the ceremony of the ceremony of a thousand knives. And they're like, hey, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to coordinate uh, Goron. Goron. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then they're like, all right, uh, we, he's going to be blah, blah, blah. And then Picard's like, yep, that sounds about right. Let's put this jacket on him. This really thick yeah. ass jacket. <laughs> on him. Let's Covered get this over metals. with. Yeah, yeah, let's get over with and get me the fuck out of here. And then this dude shows up and uh, these two, like the, the Bravada sisters, what are they called? The, the Duras, 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 Duras sisters, sisters of Duras. So they, yeah, call the sisters the, of Duras. they shouldn't really be called the Duras sisters. I feel like, no. wait, is the, is the family name Duras? Or yeah. is it, is that his first name? I forget. You know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, I don't <laughs> remember, but yeah, I just call them Mortal Kombat women. Yeah, Duras, Duras <laughs> Trumps. Yeah. Um, and so these ladies show up and everyone's looking down at their chest. Uh, <laughs> and, and, uh, I don't they're blame like, them. They're like, hey, we, we challenge challenge throne and then they're like we have this dweeb uh <laughs> this tiny that, boy oh my God. that, that uh, this is wannabe this, wesley yeah. yeah and he uh and then and then the other guy goes goran's like 
we can't fucking just accept any old fucking whore's son here. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where'd yeah. you find him in a whorehouse? Yeah. Or something. And this guy is such a dweeb, dude. <laughs> everyone, everyone has, everyone, oh everyone has like this, the this slap, deep voice. The like bitch oh, slap. Yes. Go yeah. on. Uh, and they all have like, like something stuck in their throat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know? And this guy's like, hey guys. He, he speaks like. challenge for you. Uh, yeah. No, he's like, a, he's think... got a McLovin voice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just one name. Just one name. McLovin. Um, and, uh, it's like a sexy And he's hamburger. got a tiny little voice too. <laughs> and so they they meet and there's a dude with pointy ears. Is this dude? This dude is not a Romulan, right? Or are they? Yeah, that's a Romulan. Uh, yeah, that's the a Romulan. Ears? He's wearing the ferny pads. Mm. What do you mean ferny pads? Oh, He's, like they they have the, like the the we. It is a Romulan. These are okay, okay. these are Romulans that they are conspiring with directly. So the cons- these fools and you know so like basically these dudes are like um, how the Duras you- family just loves hanging out with Romulans. Like yeah, it's, okay. it's, yeah, they think they're, they're cool these, guys to, to okay, the point where go, Picard earlier was instantly like, oh yeah. Uh, Riker, can you check if there's like any like Romulan ships around here? Because <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling. He knew, <laughs> he knew dude. Hey, here, I'm going to break it down for people who don't. So basically, these Trumpers are hanging out with white supremacists. <laughs> and these white supremacists are Romulans. <laughs> and, um, and they're like, oh, we're ready to fucking back you up, dude. Uh, me and all the fucking bitches. And you have that little fucking dweeb that's like, why don't we just fucking kill Picard, man? He, he, he sounds like a like a surfer dude from Orange County. Yeah. I, I don't fucking understand, man. Um, he and, totally does. Oh my god. And the uh, the Dura sister is fucking just back backhands. I'm like, shut up, you fucking <laughs> shut shit, the fuck dude. up, little boy. That was yeah. so funny. Yeah. yeah, I like died laughing at that. I know it's fucked up to hit a child, but it's funny here. Because yeah. it's, it's not, I mean, it's not, such a ba- a it's not an infant. He's not a baby, Marvin. Like, it's fine. He can hit. Just because he has baby hands. It's like it's yeah, funny I when mean, Wesley got he was trying to be the leader of an <laughs> empire. It's it's so it's fine. It's fine. He'll, he'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah. like Worf goes back to the ship and he's trying to get all the information that proves that the Trumps were wrong and that they had a whole bunch of fake shit on their fucking in their documents that they right. falsified and they had made payments out to uh, porn stars and stuff and that war's <laughs> family was right and righteous and they were brave and then the captain's like no no uh-uh no uh-uh you can't do that because <laughs> because you can't use our assets to basically influence uh <laughs> yeah influence uh, influence an election um <laughs> God damn it, dude. It's coming all around, dude. Yeah. Um, and he's like, you can't do that. And basically, like, Worf breaks down. Like, hey, like, this will prove that they don't have the right. Like, basically, like, he breaks it down as, as like, it's legal to use this stuff. Like, we're just using the full arm of the law. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, right. And it's like not we're just not, following the law yeah, for a peaceful yeah. transition of power. Yeah. Yeah. And, right. Worf, and, is, and Worf is trying to like work within the confines of what he still considers to be an honorable following of Klingon yeah, law. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And yes. Kern is like, fuck it. We're just, this is revolution. Let's kill them yeah. all. You know, but I, have, yeah. I have a problem. I, like I have a problem with this because I feel like Picard represents in my mind, like it, that's the supposed man. to be parallel to the USA, right? Like American politics politics maybe in no. what it's supposed to be represent like no. the better hand of it and no. i don't think that i i mean i don't buy it but i feel like when picard's like we're not gonna get involved i'm like that's not how politics works well right? i mean like, I, I can see how like i can see the parallel like, there because no, like at the same time while saying all that he's also saying like believe me i get it I know, I, I know I, I, why this would be a, like a really bad move for us if if this were to happen. I mean, and I really sure, don't want it to happen but myself. I just feel like he <sighs> politics is all about putting your influence and getting into things and civil wars and whatnot and, and he, not he, being he wants the oil that diplomatic that's what you're saying <laughs> you know yeah he like he oil. wants that he where are the weapons of mass destruction you know he's going to like say <laughs> something like where <laughs> but, but, no but, one, but at the end of the, at like the, end of the there's day there's something you know at the end like of the i day, just feel like you know at the end of the day america Worf, does all this all the time you know but i think Worf they're like is like righteous i think i think Worf. I think Worf is right. I think Worf is like, no, like this is, this is the way as the Mandalorian would say, you know, like, Mm -hmm. like that's, 
the way they're doing it, like, oh, fuck, I hate to do this, but it's it's like this. Hey, it turns out that Russia was helping Trump all along from the front in like 2016, <laughs> mm-hmm. and they really did influence an election, and mm-hmm. because they used Facebook and all the stuff, and in the robots. And, in the robots, box. yeah, and the, the influence <laughs> in election. And then you having proof and going, like, that's why it, it really disqualifies. I mean, it should disqualify them from ever running, you know? And that's really what what he's bringing to the table. Like, hey, the Duras family, like, is bad. They, yes. They're they known, and they're known to, to associate with Romulans who are bad, like, who are just, like... Corrupt, yeah. Corrupt. Mm-hmm. So, like, basically, we're empowering... <laughs> Oof. Oof. We're empowering these religious fucking zealots uh, <laughs> to join up with fucking Russia, basically. And it's going to be fucking chaos. And not only are we going to destabilize the Romulan Empire, but it could result in like us being affected, the Federation being attacked and stuff. You mean, dis- mm-hmm. you mean disrupt the Klingon Empire? Yeah, sorry. Yes, that's what I meant. Sorry. Yes, yes. Okay, because yeah. because the Romulans are also involved. That's why I was. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the 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 Klingon Empire, and and it could affect you know our the Federation's lives. Yeah, and it's yeah. like everyone has like a specific point of view, which I think is interesting. Like like this is a very politics driven episode, right? Which I think is yeah. one mm-hmm. of the potential. Like I think Star Trek is interesting when it's doing one of three things. I think it's doing when it's doing a character driven thing. When it's doing a political thing, or it's doing some sort of moral quandary. Those are like no, the three. you forgot. You forgot one more thing. Oh, what's the other thing? When it's doing something sexy. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. Uh, you're right. You're right. right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> no, I, mean, I mean, we end up talking forever when it comes to those episodes. So yeah, yeah. And oh, I yes. think and I think Picard is at it. Well, not Picard. Uh, Star Trek is at its best when it does. Some of those things simultaneously. This is why I like best of both. Oh, well, no, sorry, not best of both. Uh, Measure of a Man so much. Oof. It's both like good character development go. and good go, moral dude. development. You know, so, and I think that's why this episode is also really interesting. This is politics, but it's yeah. very character driven. and It's very interesting, and everyone has their own like political view on it. Basically, yeah. Like Picard thinks he can be Switzerland, but he admits but he, can't. he can't. No. Worf mm-hmm. is like I am trapped between two worlds. I'm going to choose the Klingon yeah. world and yeah. I'm going to figure out how to manipulate it what, within the constraints of what I believe to be Klingon honor and I, law. I don't you know? think it's even manipulated. He, he just, he just, I think he's just saying, I'm going to play within the rules that they're playing with. Yes. But, but with the truth, with wheeling but, the truth. But, yes, but other, the but truth. other exactly. members are not, or other Klingons are choosing to not play by those rules. But it's so fine. Like, I, 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 but, but Worf at the end is righteous by, because yes. he, he is, he's bound more by honor. He's like a gang member, dude. He's like the, <laughs> uh, and then he's, he's like, open your eyes. And he's, he's more bound by, by, by tradition and by honor than anything else, more than the Trumps, because they are willing yeah. to lie and associate with Nazis. Oddly, um, oddly enough, Worf, despite being raised by humans and the only Klingon in uniform, he is acting the most Klingon way. He, yeah. Klingon E. Well, yes. That's a good like out of everyone, I you know. Yeah, yeah. I think more than more than his brother. I, I yeah. see. I was about to disagree with you. I actually really? think Kern is being the most righteous and actually following what really? Klingons really do. I think what Worf Why is do doing is Worf read the book but didn't read the subtext. That's how he views Klingon culture. I think like he mm. has like a general an overview of how it's supposed to go, but in practice, none of it works that way, right? It's just like our constitution and our amendments. Like we still argue about what these amendments really mean. In we a need lot of a well regulated militia. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like yeah. that. It, it, it fucking makes sense. Like, like where where is a well regulated militia? And then it says it separates the church and state. And you have that twat from fucking Georgia going. Well, they were using a lot of uh, biblical context in the thing. It doesn't fucking matter. It's, it, it says is, you could bear arms. Exactly what and I mean. It says you could separate church and state. You piece of shit. So, so Worf is like <laughs> an idealist, bitch. and I think Kern um, is a realist. Yeah. I think Kern is going, no, the whole fucking system is broken. I want to start a revolution. Yes. And I actually I agree with, with you. You think that's Kern. more Klingon, Klingon E than what Warp is? I think is doing? because Kern has actually grown up in the Klingon culture and actually understands how it's working. Well, if you put all that aside, no, because the other people did too, and they're not acting honorable yeah. at all. No, yeah. but they are, but they are conspiring. See, Kern wants to restore Klingon back to like, 
I think a he good just standing. Wants, he wants to restore Make his name, Klingon right? Great again. Marvin, Chronos Marvin, great Marvin. <laughs> yes, we don't want to do that, dude. When, when, well, when I don't was, think that's what. When it, when were the Klingons good, dude? When they were in I'm sleep? Just things, when I'm was sorry. the Klingon good, dude? <laughs> well, well, the thing is, I'm I'm imagining Kern as being more of like like a French revolutionary, like a Kern being no, more dude. of like fuck our He's government. He's a candy man, dude. <laughs> He's a candy well, like, this, this touches on something I feel He's like I've talked about before. Man. <laughs> He's it's, a it's patisserie <laughs> chef. <laughs> patisserie. Uh, Just to go with I was, the French name. I was, <laughs> no, I can't do it. Something I've talked about before. <laughs> is how like whenever it comes to Klingons like going at each other about like honor (laughs) and like this the spirit of a warrior and all that it's like it's just a big dick measuring contest of whatever you say honor and the spirit of a warrior is yeah it's like well actually the really honorable thing to do yeah they they constantly take our you know country (laughs) back and you know (laughs) like so annoying i'm so tired of talking about honor they all they constantly play the no true scotsman card they always exactly go yes no true scotsman that's it i am the most honorable klingon this is how it should be but i think the difference is that like where that whereas the dura sisters are doing it primarily just to gain power I feel like Hearn is being like, this is wrong. These are wrong things happening. And I want to stop them from happening. And so I think I, does, the, does, the, does Kern does Kern want to restore something completely different? Like put somebody Kern in- Kern wants to get rid of the current government. So he Kern, thinks the Kern, current government is corrupt, which he's okay, correct. Okay. It is. No, Who does right, he right. want to be the the person Him, in charge? Then? Worf and his uh, associate generals. It could be him in charge, but he doesn't even mention that. I think what no. he actually wants. He said, he, he w- together we can rule. Dude, yes. I think I, I think Kern is banded. I said it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's, this is, it, it's strange because everybody keeps I don't presume to speak for honor. Kronos. <laughs> everyone, keeps, everyone keeps talking about honor and sometimes I'm just like, just do what you want to fucking do. Like fuck this. No, like no. why can't anybody act out of like you know what? Then then everyone I have like a gun. You. Everyone I like have a gun. No schools. <laughs> you. Bibles everywhere. Yeah. Um, like I just. Uh, I don't so know. so the Jura sisters call Picard and say, "Hey, we're, we got to talk to you." Oh boy. And he shows up. I honestly thought they were gonna try to fuck him. This scene I mean, was. I, th- this I think scene he's was very really hot. That one sister they was definitely trying to seduce him. Thing. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, this whole scene was basically. Uh, yeah, a soft she rubs his head. Porn. She rubs his head, dude, and, and yeah. she basically got in position to start filleting him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right there. Filleting. Him. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. She, that, she, that she, shot was wild. The like, <laughs> yeah, and they keep pouring him Earl Grey hot. You know, like, oh yeah. yeah. She, that, if you like, want, hey. if you want to win Picard's heart, like pour him some Earl Grey. Tea I want to really know where they good. got that intel. Like, <laughs> is there like a fan magazine the Romulans, out there? The Romulans knew because the she, he met with that ambassador. Oh who my they thought god, it's true. Yes, they do have spies. Holy shit. No, no, never mind. Yeah. But my questions are all answered. Yeah. That's amazing. So, so he so Picard and, and they tell him like what they tell Picard like exactly what they plan to do, you know? Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah. You're fucked if you're doing you fucked if you don't. Either way you're fucked, dude. But you're fucked less if you go our way. Yeah, you know? yeah. And and he says, and Picard's like, This is a fucking exceptional cup of tea. <laughs> and them, t- them titties are fucking great, yeah. but I gotta be going. Pop and he it. just fucking leaves, dude. Well, I think the best line he says is, you know, you guys have cunningly played this like a Romulan. He basically told them, I know you're working with Romulans. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. He said, you're too, you're not, you're not, you're not conniving enough to figure this out. So yeah. like, your yeah. science like, project's so good. You sure your parent didn't help yeah. you with this? <laughs> yeah. You sure you didn't look this up on the internet? Yeah. yeah. Secret. Sure yeah, didn't I don't know. Chat GPT to help you. <laughs> <laughs> so so basically they go and they coordinate Garon and they're like the sisters are like, well, we don't we this is bullshit, dude. And basically all the all the elders um are like, Oh, we're gonna back up the, these oh all the fucking old people, dude. I'm telling you, dude, they gotta retire. And and they're like, Oh, we're gonna back up fucking the the Gulag sisters. What are they called again? <laughs> the Gulag sisters. The Gulag sisters. Yeah. yeah. And um and so ladies. basically they basically like challenge. She has like a she has like a wardrobe malfunction a little bit. Here. <laughs> a like little bit. Nip, a little bit. Looks like her nip is out a little. Oh bit. no! On broadcast yeah. television. I don't oh, know. No. It could be a shadow. Was it but properly it also, painted? No, I know what you're saying. It, like it, it, it's like, a shadow. It looks it's like a, a little shadow of a nip, but you it definitely. I think my I eye. think they had pasties too. I think they had pasties. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. So basically, Worf meets with Goron and is like, "Hey, dude." Now that you have your back against the wall, like we'll, we'll help you. 
and my brother's like ready to fucking like it's like you have a brother oh my god yeah he's brother. like who's your brother and he's like my brother's fucking candy man and he's like don't <laughs> say it two more times because he'll show up and <laughs> and then and then he's like and he's like oh shit it's your brother and he's like yeah dude but you gotta restore my my thing my honor and he's like but you're gonna only bring like three fucking battalions that's fucking bullshit dude i want more i want like a bunch of them yeah and he's like no you you get what you get and you don't you're not upset dude that's it and then, uh, and he's like, no, no deal. And then, um, he basically, they get attacked by the, by the Gulag sisters. And this dude, Worf could just beam out of there, but he's like, nah, and he fucking helps and he, he blows one of their ships, dude. Yeah. And he, then, his tactical advice saves yeah, Gauron's ship day. Yeah. and holds them off long enough yeah. for them to be for saved. The, for the Candyman show, the Candyman shows up and he yeah. fucking kills him. Uh, he like basically shoes him away. It's like, but you. in the middle of that fight, Picard. Being yeah. Switzerland backs just away. Leaves, dude. Just says, yeah. says not my chair, not my problem. <laughs> just backs away, dude. Not my um, high council chair, not my problem. Yeah. yeah. And they, they fucking straight up leave fucking Worf, dude. Riker's like, like but too. Worf's there. What and are he's you? like, doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like um, civil war, dude. Yeah. We don't deal with and that shit, dude. The ensign's name is real. Which I thought was a kind of a weird name that stood out to me, but yeah. that's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like also, um, also apropos of nothing I, I thought of. Hello, brother Kern. Me bad. Want army now. Me sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, that's for you Simpsons people again. <laughs> so, so the um, uh, Kenny Man shows up and he and he fucking shoes the other people away. And basically, uh, Gorog Goran is like, call your fucking captain and tell him that. The party's fucking on, um, <laughs> and, and they they coordinate him and they make him the the the, the king and um and the candy man's there and and fucking and basically the Gorog's like he pardons him he's like no this guy's an honorable dude yeah he like, it's it's basically like a pardon <laughs> yeah yeah he's like, so he's, like <laughs> he's like this guy's an honorable dude uh and he's got a big dick and his whole family's got big dicks mm-hmm. and like, he deserves a second chance BDE yeah. Uh, so we're good. And then Gorong shows up to the Enterprise and he's like, hey, you guys got to help me, dude, because these dudes are going to fucking shoot me. They're going to assassinate me. They keep saying they're going to kill me. <laughs> and um, now that I am officially the leader, yeah. I can potentially like officially ask you to as part yeah. of our alliance to help us. Like this is political yeah. now. Instead of mm-hmm. just like you're involved in a civil war, yep. this is now the ruling party saying, hey, we could use assistance this way. But Picard yeah. is still like- He's like, no, not 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 my chair, not my problem, dude. <laughs> and uh, Worf is like, no, we have to intervene, dude. Like, he's now the head dude. We got to follow what he says and help him because he's in charge now. And if and, the Duras sisters win, yeah. they're going to form an alliance with the Romulans, yeah. which yeah. means the Federation everybody. will lose. Like, because yeah. there's no way they can handle both the Klingons and the Romulans at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Isn't there anyone else the Federation can call in? Like, where's all the other aliens? Where's all the other a, ones? They don't have so, big gangs like this. this <laughs> that's the thing. Like, so, the, so, so the Romulans and call the Klingons, the <laughs> they, they created yeah. empires. That's the thing. It's like... The other alien races didn't create empires on their own. So like like tiny, Vulcans, tiny little just call in a favor from the Borg. So, <laughs> oh yeah. man, Picard's yeah. like, I still have a connection to the Borg. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah. you owe me. This is our fu- this is our hail Mary. for you. <laughs> this is our Hail Mary. And He's they form on, an unlikely on, alliance. And it's like the Federation, hell. the Borg versus the Klingons and the that Romulans. That would be nuts. Honestly, that would be <laughs> Honestly, so crazy. Picard shaking hands with the Borg cube. Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude. Just on dude, a what if, what if, what if he just, he just like, Picard just put like a little metal piece on him, you know, and it oh, just, like, puts it back like, on like a magnet, like, like a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then he's like, he's like, he's like, Borg, you know, <laughs> I'm and then they just like showed out of nowhere, dude. And they're like, we're cloaked all along. Oh my God. Bitches, again? You just like, made me yeah. wish so hard oh for a moment where Picard came out with like some, you know, metal shit on his face or tin foil. He was like, oh no, I've become part of the Borg again, everybody. <laughs> and no, everyone's dude, like, no. oh my God. He's like, no. I got you. Dude, <laughs> you know what would be, be badass? If they try to, if the, if the, the Gulag sisters try to assassinate fucking Picard and and then it was and they went they went to stab him in the, in the face and it was like, <laughs> kink, kink. and it was like an endoskeleton. That would be wild. Like, that would be he's crazy. Like, and then and then Picard's like, I know why you cry now. <laughs> One and of his eyes revealed like, to be red, and yeah. glowing red. <laughs> yeah, that would be wild. 
No Terminator way. Picard would be bad. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> and then, um, like, to, to scare them, he takes out a Bowie knife and then cuts off his forearm to yeah. reveal the <laughs> He's like, I need to just stand cool very scene. still. <laughs> yeah. And then Gorog is like, well, fuck it, dude. Fuck you guys. I'm going to go back. And then Worf's like, I need another leave of absence. Uh, FTO. Flexible time off. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Picard's like, I can't, I, I can't approve this time off anymore. It took too, too many vacation days. And he's like, yeah, but now I'm I need a note really from your doctor now that you've been yeah, gone so really long. Ill. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, up, man. He's like I, I ordered you to stand down and like, no vacation days, dude. No more vacation. And Worf's like, well, fuck this dude. Then I turn my badge in. This is just like the scene. This turns out a little bit kind of like The Dark Knight Rises, where like, oh. Joseph Gordon Lovett's character is like, these rules i'm trying i've been trying to follow these rules all my life and i'm a cop and stuff but like batman is right like these criminals don't follow the rules so i shouldn't follow the rules and he turns his badge in dude just like robin mm-hmm. dude mm-hmm. and so does picard he turns in his fucking his com badge and he's he like resigns. i'm out dude yeah i'm gonna go fight my bro fight against the russians in, in kiev mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and he's like i'm out dude and he puts on his fucking Cling on a tire and he's fucking looking badass, dude. And then it's a little um, thick on him, but it looks good. Yeah, he it looks, looks a little it's chunky, but stuff. yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's warm yeah. fitting. It's it's a, it's <laughs> what the kids are wearing. And Picard's like Picard's like basically like, hey, he's basically like bummed out. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And he tells him like, Hey, you're you're a great person and I'm I'm bummed out to see you go. And he basically is gonna escort him to the the holodeck, not the holodeck, the transport room, <laughs> and everyone's out there, and they're 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 there to salute. Getting like, like a really mm-hmm. getting Captain like my, the Skittles honor guard. Yeah, yeah. Captain, <laughs> Captain, my Captain. Everyone's standing on their desk and saying, "Oh, Captain, my Captain." Um, they found all the extras they could to yeah, line the hallway, yeah. <laughs> and then and then he turns I into the, crew the transport would be room like thousands. Well, but you can't fit. How are you going to fit this, this, people this on the is bridge? A, Sarah? Worf, was, Worf was not a popular man. This is how many people wanted to show yeah. up for. Aww, <laughs> that's a lot. And no one gave any. No one gave any speeches or hugs or a little cheers to. to no, or no, like a lot. little farewell package. Cake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, where's the cake? And he walks in. He turns turns a corner, and all his like friends are there, and they're like. Yeah. But they uh, don't say anything to all the people who, who well, what would they say though? Like, what would they say though? Bye, good luck. Well, Hope that's the thing. I, 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 I think know. they know that not Worf would not Worf, want though. sentimentality. Worf yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a hug like, at least. No, no. Worf, Worf would be like, like data that sir, cuts through this, like the moment this just in this proves, and yeah. during a scene this like this. Proves that you would not be friends with Worf. You mentioned like three things that like he would hate. Yeah, speeches. I would be like, he's so emotionally unavailable. <laughs> literally yeah, that's, that's, that's his character trait he's literally yeah. emotionally unavailable i mean and, um, i would want to hug him or say goodbye or something nah so would alexander him. but look at him <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. true get that's fucked true. little boy <laughs> no no no. <laughs> no not like that no get, get wrecked yes wreck that wreck that little boy <laughs> Okay, that, even that sounds a little bad exactly. now. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I regret Wreck making the joke. that small child. <laughs> I don't know if that's better. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, is is that it? Like, he Worf's just out of the show now? Like, he's gone? Like, bye-bye? Hey, like, well, well let's go we, we can't speculate. A... We can't speculate, yeah. So, let's, let's get to the end. So, then Worf leaves, and you have uh, the, the Enterprise leaves. And Worf goes with with his brother, and they're gonna fucking team up and just kick ass, dude. Well, K- Kern's gonna remain captain of his own, basically little armada he's made with yeah. other captains, mm-hmm. and then Worf is gonna serve as uh, basically he's gonna be like Gauron's right hand man on that ship, yeah. Because like kind of like security slash battle, he's gonna be, he's gonna be like Gauron's Riker. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. I thought yeah. he was gonna be the Worf of. You know, no, essentially, no, he, yeah. I, I think no, I think he's a higher ranking dude thing. in the in the, yeah? in the Klingon uh, Empire. Okay. I think. I, I mean, think. he saved Gauron's life. I'm yeah. pretty sure Gauron would be like, you know what? You're like, so like maybe uh, like a Riker then. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so then you show the Romulans and the Gulag sisters, and then the the, the one of the Romulans gets a report that the Enterprise has left, and fucking Weasel Zappa or whatever his name is, uh, he's like, oh, see, he's a coward. He fucking left. Ooh, <laughs> he's a fucking you know what he bitch. sounds like? He sounds like he sounds like um. He sounds like a Narf from Thundercats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean Schnarf? Schnarf. Yeah. Schnarf. 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 I have a bad feeling about this, not Lionel. Um, <laughs> and and he's like, oh, he's a coward. He left. And and then and then uh, what's your face is like, shut up, you 
idiot. Um, <laughs> what's her name again? Uh, not Deanna. Ta- 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 Tasha. Tasha. Oh, yeah. Tasha. Yeah. And T- Tasha's like, shut up, you fucking idiot. And she comes out of the shadows and you realize, oh, mm-hmm. fuck, dude. But you don't see her ears. So you don't know. She's not a <laughs> So that you know was I mean? my thing. I was looking for the ears, but she like has it covered by the hair. So maybe Which she's is, not you know, a Romulan. They're or? clearly doing that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to like throw us off or do some, make so, us wonder at least. I'm wondering. So what do you guys think? I think Ricardo had already set his theory on. Is that your actual theory on who? I don't think it was. It was maybe Venom. Maybe it was Venom. But I think they found her and they. I think, yeah, there's spies, but I think there was more to gain from her. She was a security officer. Like, so uh-huh. they, they figured out how to reanimate her, dude. Weird science shit, dude. They put like bras on their head and fucking brought her back, dude. Mm, okay. Okay. Was her Sarah. body actually fired out into space? Like, just yeah, to make dude. that clear. Yeah. Like, just to make sure that was a thing that, that was I don't around. remember exactly. Um, but that could have she been was, what happened. Just to see if like, just to know for sure if she was reclaimable in that she way. Was. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> okay. what do you think, Dan? What do you think it could be? I don't know, because it's like, if it's actually her, then somehow that body must have gotten in their possession, whether or not any of that mind of is, is supposedly actually her, I have no clue. I'm the type to, like, whenever I, I am presented with a huge mystery, instead of speculating, I just think of, okay, well, I'll I'll speculate in such a wide spectrum that I don't believe anything I think of. <laughs> you mm. get what I mean? It's like, mm. I think like, well, it could be that. Like that's an that's an easy explanation too, but I'm gonna wait well, till you tell me what happened. Well, I just want to know what you guys think it could be. Mm. Like, like Sarah, what do you think? Romulans could have been could have reanimated her. It might be I a different think timeline. It's maybe the Borg dressed up as her. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, hmm. So you think the Borg are involved? Potentially. I mean, they were oh, able to like take over Picard and like you know do his little wire hookup or whatever. I don't know. It's it's something's weird because she was supposed to be dead. So like, how do they get her body? Like, what what? Why you're is she thinking alive? like a Sony movie exec, Sarah? Just add more <laughs> villains. Yeah, I don't know. And like, how did they get her? Somebody must be controlling her mind, obviously. Or I mean, I, it's I don't very think they're controlling odd. her mind. I think I think they brainwashed. She's clearly her. in charge. Yeah, that's the thing. That's yeah, everyone, she's in charge. Everyone, everyone but is that to really her. her? Maybe she's just a body. I, th- I but think that's it's a bit her. of a trope too, where like someone who's brainwashed becomes like a high ranking general. Yeah, no, remember no, the ho- remember the host episode? Maybe she has one a, of those things in her stomach. She's a she's a Winter Soldier. They've they've mm. reprogrammed her, and they told oh. her, "Hey, you were you were left you were left mm. behind. They left yeah, you behind were left for dead. They all hate to, you and abandoned you. Yeah. They all think you're ugly." And fat, yeah, yeah, <laughs> awful. And, and, and they Data hate said your that, that arm. He's fucked. He's fucked better security officers. Um, oh, Data is the worst of them all. Yeah, Data oh, has fucked and lots of people since you died. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and he, he yeah, had he's a, had, a he had a daughter. He had a daughter, and she's like, "What?" But she's a Winter Soldier, dude. She's a Winter Soldier. Mm. I mean, I'm definitely interested to see the casts. Uh, I'm sorry, the cast does in like Data. Everyone's reaction. To see mm-hmm. her. Yeah, that uh, I do want to see. Like, how because do they react to seeing Tasha? And how do they qualify that? Are they like, oh my God, what? what happened? Is this just her body? Do they, like, what is it really her? Like, Data there's so many and Worf questions. are going to have, like, the like, most yeah. interesting Tasha, you reactions. can't pull off that hair. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Worf, too, because she was, he, she was on Worf's team, right? Department? Yeah. And in the episode where Worf, where, where Tasha died, there was a slight hint that Worf was interested in her. Like yeah. you didn't see this episode mm-hmm. yet, Sarah, w- back then, but the episode where Tasha died, Tasha was started off the episode by being like, oh yeah, I'm in this martial arts tournament on the ship, blah, blah. blah. And Worf was like, well, I've placed a large bet on you. And then she's like, oh, you did? And she's like, of course, you are the fiercest warrior here. And then like, she goes, mm. oh, maybe, yeah, maybe you yeah. like me. And then she dies in the episode. So, mm. and that's why yesterday's Enterprise starts with Worf because Worf took over her job. Worf yeah, seemed right. to have liked her. So, so what you're they, saying is, part oh wait, two she was will the Worf. Feature. That's right. She was, yeah, she was she the original was security the Worf. officer. So Worf yeah. was on her team. Yeah, yeah. Worf was yeah. originally in like commanding. He was originally a red uniform, yeah. actually, yeah. and he right. transferred over to security. Right, that's right. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, and now. then, I wonder if Data's going to be like, uh, if I fuck her, is, is it a sin? 
because it's not the same person. <laughs> I think it's fine. It's the same body. Oh. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, I give this a ten, dude. This is this is my first ten. Oh, this is, this is your first ten. Yeah, oh. is it really oh, the first ten? I think so. I think it. I don't remember Ricardo ever saying a ten. Send send an email. No, if you, no. If you think. Yesterday's Enterprise. You gave a ten. You like that? Yesterday. What's yesterday's Enterprise? The one where they go. The back other in one time where Tasha showed up and Tasha oh, shows up. I like time travel. Yeah. 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 Okay, <laughs> yeah tenor. Yes. Yeah, so this is a tenor as well. Hmm, okay. Ten. 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 Wow, right. that's. I, I wonder if seeing the next part of the episode will change your mind about this. Part. It could, or maybe uh, not. I stand we'll by my ten. You right. stand by your ten, okay? Yeah, and and we're evaluating just episodes so far, I guess. Yeah, so we can't. Yeah. We don't know what'll happen. Sure. Mm, I give it a nine. I'm pretty close up there. It's 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 good. It's interesting. I did not expect Worf to leave. I I don't yeah. know if that stays that way. If not, I was I'm a little shocked. But I guess we'll see. No kind of like when Wesley line. left, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, no lame B, B storyline. That's true, actually. We kind of, mm-hmm. we had a little couple storylines. But yeah, it, they were all really good. So, and also the Duras sisters, super sexy. Love it. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I want to look up ten, some. Ten. Yeah, 10 out of 10. For <laughs> sure. Um, And I didn't know Klingon women dressed like that. Do they all look like that? They all look. That's They're the dressing uniform? extra provocatively for sure. Oh, okay, so that's not yeah. the usual. Like, others are I, like I Kalar remember, or. Uh, don't we've remember also seen other Klingon like women that. when Riker visited that ship once, right? Has Riker yes. seen the Duras sisters? Because he might be like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. No, I don't think he saw the Dura sisters. He saw we'll some other. No, those are some yeah. other ladies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm very yeah, curious yeah. to see what the other side of the to be continued episode looks like. I, I want to see everyone's reactions, but yeah, I'll, I'll give this a nine. Okay. I'll I think give it I'm a, there with a nine too. Yeah, I'll give it a nine as well. I think it's it's really close to being like a perfect episode. I think there's only, the only thing that prevents it being like perfect is you just don't know how it ends. And like, yeah, it's I think a that's a thing for me. Like, cause right now Tasha as a cliffhanger is like, wow, that's really shocking, but Please let this be a decent explanation because there's <laughs> there's so much so like you know it's a really it it could very easily be a very contrived thing yeah, yeah. it's kind I, of cheap and awful that, that I don't like and so I'll I'll wait to see on that yeah I think it's it's hard for me to evaluate it right now because you do know how it ends yeah I think the problem is that like I need to like divorce myself from the overall context. And sure, but, I'll, but I think I'll, I think I'll give it a nine still. Yeah, Marvin, yeah. you're not making me feel good about this next episode. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you, you seem it, very it, that underwhelmed. Could swing, that could swing either way, right? It could be yeah, because no, the next I, episode is so good that this has to be a ten, or that it's so bad that it has to be lower than a nine. You know, you don't know which I am saying. Um, I but, don't. You are playing yeah. very <laughs> cards. Oh, there is one more thing I wanted to mention about this episode. When Garon is like doing his little like pardon ceremony for Worf, he holds out, um, you know, that traditional Klingon knife blade oh, thing, the that knife, tri blade. And, like, mm-hmm. and he has to give it a little <laughs> bit of a tapatio hot hand. Yeah. Um, that the name of that blade is spelled D apostrophe K T A H G, which makes it sound like you could read it as Dick. Tug? <laughs> Give him and a little dig. He has to pull <laughs> on that blade <laughs> to draw some of that hot sauce. Give him a little dick tug. <sighs> Maybe that's why it's Although, called Although, okay, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll head off the pedants right now. Um, it, I know it's actually supposed to be pronounced like duck tug, but it's just funny. <laughs> So it still sounds kind of like a weird way to say it. Yeah. And, and yeah. also I will acknowledge that this joke was probably made by hundreds, if not thousands <laughs> of people before I, I just need to thank the fandom for not letting it's, me find out about it until today. It's new to us. Yes. <laughs> well, also while we're mentioning things, there's one thing that Sarah and I thought was really funny is, uh, it's either the seed where the bar, t- the Bortas is being attacked and mm-hmm. you have the Helms officer. He sounds like the only southern voiced Klingon guy on the ship. He kept being like, shields are down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he had like a, a strange accent going on. So I looked him up. His name is Clifton Jones and he's British. Oh, no. That's... He, he, he works in British television, but he's Jamaican. But, oh, that's interesting. But so he's wow. like the only non-Jamaican, like English speaking accent he could muster was a southern one, maybe? I don't know. It sounded kind of southern to me. It kept sounding like he's like, oh, the disruptors aren't working. You know, like, 
it, I don't know. It just kind of caught my attention. And I was like, that's it's the first time there's like a Klingon who's not like doing like a oh, British accent. In com- yeah, like implies. that slightly <laughs> stilted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I get that. I didn't it's notice that accent earlier. I, I I should go back and look at it. Yeah, I could be crazy. But I think I think we were both like, that's a weird some guy sounds funny. It at least sounded different than what you are expecting. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. For sure. Yeah, you're like, oh, shields are down. Oh. I also like <laughs> how whenever Garon is like commanding or like, you know, issuing commands, he's just like, ah, blah. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's, say, he's yelling out words that we don't know what it means. It's like, it's a single syllable command. <laughs> <It's> great. <laughs> <laughs> we know Ma. from the game hello <laughs> remember he that, was like uh, i remember at us mev, the whole time? mev means stop yeah mev is stop because this uh, one that's what yeah. he says all the time yeah gach is his favorite is a food Pooj uh, is a pathetic something or other it's a pathetic worm oh yeah Pooj. Uh, Pooj. i shall call I know you Pooj. i shall call you Pooj. <laughs> Yeah, so this still makes me laugh every time. Wait, Dan was Pooch, and, right? And Beach. Was I was, I, I wasn't were I like Poosh? multiple nicknames by the end of it. No. I think I you know. were. I think you were Pooch. Because yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Because no, no. Because it was Pooch was given to the person who had the lowest ranking or the least isolinear chips. Yeah, I forget. I don't remember. Oh, never mind. I have to go back and watch. All I know is that he called on me a lot because I happened to be moving a lot when he was talking. <laughs> Uh, well, that was fun. And I guess we'll find out next time what happens on Redemption on Newbie Star Trek. Thanks yeah. for listening, everybody. And, uh, kapla. Yeah, yeah kapla. If you guys kapla. have been li- like, like liking and listening to what's going on, you can always head on over to Apple Podcasts or wherever you're listening, or like YouTube or whatever, Podcast Addict, whatever. Just give us a review. Spotify. Spotify, wherever. You want to just give us a little review or rating? Or drop us a comment wherever you are. That'd be cool. You'd appreciate that. That'd be that'd be very nice. Uh, and also, if you guys ever want to send us an email, you can always contact us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. So our letter this week comes from someone named Alex from France, uh, which I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, and Alex goes, hi there. I got a quick anecdote for you. Love the show. Listens to it all the time on Spotty. I'm French. I've got to say that I did not think I needed to learn more English until I started listening to Ricardo. So thank you. (laughs) I had to do some surgery this morning. So I think he's a surgeon. Or they. I think Alex could be gender neutral, right? So they had to do surgery this morning. And the rule is whoever is holding the knife chooses the playlist. So I cued my playlist on repeat. And got to work. I forgot that I added the last episode on my fave playlist as a reminder to finish it later. Oh, no. So you may have already guessed it. Oh, no. But the episode comes up at 30 minutes when Ricardo starts talking about aliens' dicks. Sarah's (gasps) is worm. (laughs) Got to tell you, context matters. It lasted 15 to 20 minutes. And we were able to skip. (laughs) Are you serious? (laughs) Oh God! Uh, P.S. During 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 a, wait, during a surgery? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh during a surgery. my God! <laughs> that is the best story I've ever heard. That is that's so insane. I'm I so am sorry. So glad that you told us this because that is an amazing story. But boy, do I feel sorry. I hope the surgery <laughs> went well. Despite yes, that. yes. <laughs> Above everything, I really hope that did not distract you too much from performing yeah, yeah. the surgery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait, PS. what did they say? What did they say we were talking about? Aliens and what? Uh, Alien dicks and worms. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So P.S. They really need improvement on the OK Google command. So cheers, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> OK Google command. Oh, oh my no. god how That's that so just crazy. made me realize like were you trying to say okay google periodically think, as you're doing were, your surgery i think they were trying to skip by saying that and it wasn't working so oh no <laughs> oh my does google god. need to get better recognition at detecting french accents <laughs> well it's supposed I, to recognize uh, your voice like it's supposed to be like a voice signature that it knows well maybe so. they had like ppe on and stuff you know that's like, true everyone's yeah, yeah. like Oh my god, I'm mortified. <laughs> well, thanks, Alex. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Alex. Oh yeah. my gosh. And maybe to the patient too. I hope they were maybe they, they, they were asleep. They didn't know. I hope so they were probably under. Probably under they wake so up and they have under. like but they have like subliminal a weird dream messages of yeah. <laughs> yeah, alien dicks and worms. Yes. Yeah, they're like we were, I was under, but I could still hear and I would just remember alien dicks 
And <laughs> okay, Google, alien dicks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Google, <laughs> that's, skip dicks. That's all dicks. I remember. <laughs> oh, no, that's crazy. Wow. All right. Wow. Well, if you guys have been liking what you're listening to, just head on over to Newbie Star Trek. No, I know. FugitiveFrames.com. That's where you can find all the stuff we do. There's links to all that stuff, other podcasts, other channels, etc. Next time, we're going to obviously do Redemption Part 2. We usually take a break. I don't know how long it'll be, but it'll be at least a week. So we'll see. Uh, but in the meantime, hope you guys are doing well and stay safe, everybody. We'll see you guys soon enough. Stay for the safe. Conclusion to this redemption arc. <laughs> I know. <laughs> don't worry. It won't be all summer. Ah. Buongiorno. Goodbye. Bye. Sorry about the room. surgery. Yeah, <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, I hope your gallbladder's open. <laughs> <laughs>